Hey everybody, today we're outside. We're on that new Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Grill. Gonna do a little reverse seared steaks. Y'all wanna stick around for this one. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. Welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Listen guys, we have that new Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Grill. I've already done the unboxing on it, that first look. We'll put that up there if you want to check it out. But today we're ready to fire it up. We're gonna add some of these wood pellets to it. We're gonna reverse sear these steaks. Now there are two ways you can go to add that smoke flavor to your cook, okay? So with the two ways, you got the regular smoker setting on that dial, you turn it to smoke, set the temperature of the time and you give it the smoke, okay? Now, if you just wanna add some of that wood fire flavor while you're grilling, while you're doing uh, air frying, baking, all that stuff, hit that wood fire technology button and while whatever setting you're on on that little dial, you could get a little of that smoke flavor in there by pushing that wood flavor technology, okay? Now, this one, I'm gonna do a traditional reverse sear, okay? So we're gonna give it about 20 minutes of smoke. All right, so I'm actually gonna set it on the smoker setting at like 225, okay? And just give it about 20 minutes of good smoke. Uh, we're not gonna, you know, give it a lot of heat, right? We don't want a uh, straight cookie yet. We're gonna take these steaks to a medium rare. So while we're smoking the steaks, we're gonna check it every few minutes, make sure we're not going over, uh, going over temperature. I wanna take them to about 110, 115. Once that happens, we'll go ahead and pull them out of the grill and then fire up the grill setting to high setting and we'll get some nice sear on it, okay? That's the reverse searing of it, right? Giving it some smoke and we're giving it plenty of heat to get that char on there, those grill marks, all that good stuff, okay? As we always do, we dry brine our steaks. So last night, took them out, put them on a rack, season them up with a little kosher salt, back in the fridge overnight, let the air hit it, you know, uh, let that salt penetrate, draw out the moisture, draw back in that salt flavor, too damn tasty. So as far as the seasoning goes on these steaks, we're gonna use a little uh, Caribbean Q beef, big and bold rub. So some nice steaks, we're gonna add a nice seasoning to it. I'll put a link down below for Caribbean Q if you wanna check out the stuff. Nothing left to do but to get to it. We got a new Ninja Foodie Grill station out here. We actually got, uh, you know, these workbenches that we're gonna be working off of. So let's get this thing fired up. And uh, I can't believe we're actually firing up a Ninja Grill. This is very exciting. All right, but wait, but wait, there's more. Before we actually get started on the cook, hit that subscribe button, that bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. Guys, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I hope you can help me get there. Hit that, hit that red subscribe button, like for real, do it now. It's important, the, the world will stop spinning if you don't hit the button right now. Not really, but you know, you never know. Also, if you guys are interested in getting the, the new wood fire grill, links down below, there'll be an affiliate link. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything more, but you know, it helps out the channel. All right, now let's start cooking. <laughs> All right, team, let's go ahead and get some pellets in there. We're just using our little uh, pellet scoop, okay? You do not want to overfill this. So the one little scoop's worth is good enough. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Make sure it's all in there. You do not want this overflowing at all, okay? All right, let's go ahead and shut that down. Okay, team, we're gonna put it onto the smoker setting. I'm gonna go to 225. All right, timing doesn't really matter. We're gonna hit start. So your flame's igniting into those uh, pellets. It's gonna take five to seven minutes or so to start seeing some smoke come out of there. And then we'll add their steaks on. All right, let's get these steaks ready. They're off the rack. They've obviously been sitting out in the fridge all night. Just gonna get a little olive oil on there so the seasoning binds to it, otherwise known as a binder. We're gonna sear these up pretty fast. Got our beef big and bold rub. We'll just do a nice liberal coating. Make sure you get all the sides. 
All right, our steaks are gonna sit and sweat. Then we'll go ahead and get the uh, get them in the grill. All right, guys, for the first time, smoke coming out of a Ninja Foodie grill is a good thing. I'm loving it. Let's get ready to add the steaks on. Okay, the countdown clock started on the grill. Uh, we did the, the initial smoking ignition part. Tons of smoke came out, so don't freak out when that happens to you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these steaks on. Again, we're gonna check them every few minutes to make sure they're not overcooking. We're gonna go ahead and pull them out like 100 to 105, 110 in that area. And then I'm gonna pull them out, fire up that grill on high setting and just get a nice sear on them, okay? So let's get these steaks on, get some nice smoke on it, and then we'll get going. Okay, so, okay, so, smoker's rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and get these steaks in. We did let it count down a little bit. I'm gonna shut this down. Let it get some smoke, a little heat. We'll check the temps using the thermometer. Link down below. And uh, we'll pull them when it's time to sear them up. Okay, team, we're up to temp on the steaks. We're gonna go ahead and pull them off, fire up the grill setting, and this should be done relatively quickly, okay? The skinnier of the two steaks, temping out a little higher than the, the fatter one, but that's to be expected. All right, let's get on the grill here. All right, so we're gonna take the temp on the big in here. We get it about where we want it to be. The skinnier of the two is obviously a bit more done, which is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to the grill setting. It's gonna end the smoker setting. We have the setting on high for 10 minutes. Hit start. It's already hot in there, so I'm gonna remove the preheat. We're just gonna add the steaks back in. Should heat up relatively quickly. We'll do a couple flips and we should be done. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. We're gonna give them a flip. Love a little smoke in there. These are firming up real nice. I'm gonna check the temp on one of them here. Got another couple degrees to where we want it to be for medium rare. Let's give it a couple more minutes and we should be able to pull them. All right, team, we're temping out where we want to be. We're gonna go ahead and pull these off. We got a nice little sear on there. Check out the other one. Love the way, get a nice crust on there. I'm gonna go ahead and let these rest and we'll slice into them. Go ahead and turn this off. Good to go, shut it down. Come on back and we'll cut into them. All right, team, let's go ahead and cut this up. It's gonna cut right down the middle of the big one right here. This is Denver steak. I don't know if you ever had it before. There we go. Nice, medium rare, pink, juicy, love it, dripping everywhere. Let's go ahead and slice off a little bit here and give it a try. The flies out here are trying to get me. They're trying to steal my steak. Okay. Let's cut it up and give it a shot. All right, y'all, here we go. That's a damn good steak right there. Mm, perfect done. Oh, so good. I'm excited. All right, team, we are done. The steaks turned out perfectly. I love the smoke flavor in there. Nice grill, nice char on there. Build a nice crust. Perfect steaks, okay? Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're gonna do a lot more cooks on this outdoor grill from Ninja, Wood Fire. what's up? All right, guys, if you wanna get yourself one of these Wood Fire grills, they're taking pre-orders right now. This is uh, the middle of August. If you're catching this video at the beginning of September, they're already being delivered, okay? So there's a link down below to Ninja Kitchen. It's an affiliate link, but it's a cost you thing more to use and it helps out the channel when you use my links, okay? Speaking of links, merch, knives, cutting boards, all that stuff, all down below. Hit more underneath the video, hit show more underneath the video, check them out, cool. If you wanna become a show producer like all these awesome people right here. Steak loving people. New Ninja wood fire loving people right here. Hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, we're done. Thank you all for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.